None of this existed when I was here at Auburn. This is crazy. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. On the bright side, yeah, this music here became my only life. Now. Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, on the bright side, yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah, one leg out that brand new Benz way. Hometown asking me my wrist, yeah. Repetition from my chest, that's a bench press Seeing more behind the frame, future brother feel the shade Thinking ain't nobody feel the way I do, but someone gotta feel the same Yeah, on the bright side Yeah, this music here became my only lifeline Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind Yeah, welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Well, we are at Auburn University, the loveliest village on the plains. We came down for Colin and Kai. Kai came up with us from vacation to do Auburn's baseball camp. So they're excited about that. However, we just rolled on to campus and uh, Colin said, hey dad, I forgot my cleats. I'm about to wring the boy's neck. I mean, I'm telling you, I asked him a hundred times all day long. Are you packed? Do you have everything? Do you have the packing list? Do you have your cleats? Do you have your bat? Do you have your glove? Do you have everything that you need? Yeah, dad. Yeah, dad. Yeah, dad. All day long. That was his only job. Get packed up. See the room, Kai. Oh my God. Room tour. I already made it a mess. Look at that. Isn't that believable? <laughs> He's already dumped all the clothes out on the yeah, floor. Yeah, I couldn't find anything. So. Oh. And there he is, no pleats. All right, it's been a couple days since I dropped Colin and Kai off at baseball camp at Auburn University. So, a little update on those cleats. So that night, we wound up getting Justin, who works with Lois Ann at Chick-fil-A, who lives in Auburn. We said, hey, will you run these by on your way back to Auburn? So Lois Ann went home, found his cleats, got it to Justin. Justin drove down, dropped them off at the dorm. Well, the dorm's closed. The boys were still out doing practicing. This was like at nine o'clock, maybe 9.30. The boys were still out doing their drills. So there's a note on the door that says, hey, if you need assistance, call this number. Talk to whoever, Brad or whoever the guy's name was. Calls the number, gets Brad. Hey Brad, I got some cleats for Colin Murphy. He's in room, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, uh, just leave him by the door. I'll come get him, get him to him. Perfect, right? Text Colin, let him know. Colin comes home. It was kind of late, 10 30 or so. Uh, there's no cleats here. And there's, I don't see anybody, don't know who to contact. So wait till the morning. Gets up in the morning, no guy, nobody's heard, nobody knows about the cleats. Contacts a lady um, that's with the camp. Lady's like, I've never heard of that guy before. So we're like, Colin, go look and see. That note's still in the door. It was. Call the number on the note. That guy's not answering. Someone finally says, hey, that's a guy that works the dorm in the evening time. We'll try to get in touch with him. Meanwhile, nobody knows anything. Well, finally, all day long, you know, trying to chase him down. Another girl says, oh yeah, I gave him to his roommates. Well, Kai's his roommate and one of Kai's friends and another guy. And they were all like, no, we never got the cleats. They're not in the room. What the heck? So finally that evening, we finally chase them down. It turns out the kids, whoever she gave them to, instead of actually finding Colin, she gave them to some kids, I guess, and they put them in the wrong room. Different number. So, 
Colin finally got his cleats. He had to go at least a full day, I think, without cleats. I think he was a little frustrated, but I think he's been having a good time. He's been having fun. So I'm down today. John, Kai's dad, drove up from Venice, and I think maybe Kai's granddad as well, to come watch. Beautiful day. They're doing some games, and then camp ends in the morning, which none of this existed when I was here at Auburn. Like, this, this is crazy. This was all just think woods and maybe a field possibly this is a massive complex they had I saw beach volleyball they got a soccer field this can be soccer and baseball it's called turf what the heck um, got some kids up here playing I think there's multiple age divisions which I guess I need to be trying to hunt down Colin I think there's four different games going right now all right I found him this is out in center field I guess they have a pitching machine that's doing the pitching. It's hard to kind of tell what's what because nobody's really in uniform. They're all in just the regular clothes, which makes sense, right? It's count. All right, let's see if we get any action out there in the center field. I got it. All right, well, Colin had a couple good catches there in center field. They lost that game, so apparently they've broken up into teams. They've been scrimmaging each other all day, and then the championship was supposed to be in the stadium tonight, which Colin's team did not make it to that, so they were going to just watch. However, it has been raining a bunch, so we're just now out of the rain delay, and I guess because it rained, they're not going to be in the stadium messing up the nice field. So they're back out here on these AstroTurf fields, and I guess Colin's team getting to play after all. So we're gonna go see if we can find them. It's a little dark out here. It's getting a little late. So Colin did not get a bat. So he's like in the middle of the batting order. But because they didn't finish getting the other kids batted in the previous game, they started like two behind him or three behind him or something. So they didn't even make it through the full order. They got to play a game. They weren't even supposed to even play that game, I think, it just because of the rain. So unfortunately, he didn't get a bat. He did get to play center field a couple innings. They did say if he got to play again tomorrow that, that he would be one of the first batters. But I think they're trying to do a championship game in the morning at the actual stadium. But it depends on the weather. So I'm going to bed, so we'll catch you in the morning to see what happens. Hopefully he gets to play. That would be fun, but we're gonna wait and see. All right, so it's the next morning, and exciting news from Colin this morning that he and Kai are gonna play each other in the championship game at the Auburn baseball camp. So that's pretty cool. They actually are getting to play in the Auburn Stadium. Sweet, check out, beautiful day, beautiful field. Um, so the game has just started. Colin's out in center field. Check him out, looking good. Kai's team's up to bat right now. I'm glad they get the experience playing on the big field. Hopefully they'll get a little action, make some good plays. Already got a little action out there in the center field. A couple that were close. One I was hoping he would be able to dive and make a great play, but it just uh, came a little short, but he did catch that last out. Good job, Colin. Wrapping up the old camp. 
Are you gonna carry? All right, camp's officially over. How did you do at your at bat? In the stadium, the big time, baby. All right, we transitioned. Sorry about that. Got to get loaded up. The kid was throwing like 83. Because he's also playing with high school kids. Yeah. There, there was no age division. So even though he's going into eighth grade, they were playing against even seniors in high school. That All the kids were mixed up on the same team uh, or on different teams, but they were all like one, one division essentially. So the kid was throwing gas, huh? Yeah. And the very first pitch I tipped it, and we start. We started with a one and one count, so that made it two strikes and one ball. And so and the then, first one came in hot, and you get a little piece of it. Yeah, I think it was like eighty-one. All right, Coach John said you were swinging for the fences on that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I love that first swing. And the second pitch, he threw a change up, but it was a ball, and I didn't swing at it, so it made nice, it nice, nice. Two Good and eye. two, and then he gassed me up at the top, and I swung, and it was a strike, but I missed it. Okay. Well, hey, you didn't go down watching. That's the key, baby. That's the key. Kai said that one was like 83, though. You've never faced a pitcher that fast, have you? Maybe on the 200 fields. Just because, like, it's shorter. Or shorter on the mound, you mean? Like. Oh, the ball gets there quicker. Yeah. Where did y'all go after the game? Y'all went into the... Oh, did you not come with them? No, I didn't know what was going on. I just heard the coach said, y'all drop your stuff and come with me. I didn't know parents could come. Oh, it was, we went to the football stadium. There was like a, it was like a thing on how to get like recruited and stuff like that. Jeez. All right, Auburn baseball camp, you suck at communication. Absolutely suck. All week we've been lost. Don't know what the schedule is. Now, granted, I will give you a little pass because of the rain. They had to change stuff up. But give us a freaking schedule. Let us know what's happening. All they said after the game was, kids, change shoes, and you're coming with us. I didn't know parents could come. I didn't know what they were doing. I thought they were going to get their stuff. <sighs> come on, Auburn. You're better than that. We went to the football stadium for it. All right. Well, what did you learn? <laughs> Nothing. Is that what you're laughing about? You didn't listen? I did for some parts. Oh gosh, then you tuned out. Guess you don't want to get no, recruited, it like, huh? No, it was like how to reach out to them. And the coach, or like uh, the scouts at Auburn, they don't ever go to the games. They rarely do. They just hear from coaches and travel ball scouts. So what was the key then? Contact them? Well, it's like Have your coaches like, contact? If you're not a... If you're not a junior in high school, they can't call you. So it's like you have to call them or like get one of your coaches to send a good message about you and then they'll look at some clips. So you need a good relationship with coaches, I guess, and hopefully the coaches have a good relationship with them. Yeah. And send some footage. Okay. Story. <laughs> I think I have a picture. Oh, oh no. Is this a G rated? Quinn took a poop without toilet paper, so he, I opened the door and he's like, Can you like toss me some toilet paper? What was the best part of camp, guy? How about that? Winning. Winning. Oh, Jesus. The, medal. the bling. Colin, oh, call the camera your medal. You got one of these, man. <laughs> <laughs> go, oh, go. It's invisible. Nothing. Kai, where'd that photo go? No second place trophies over here. Yep. It's Kai, what's your thoughts on the uh, uh, university? It's pretty nice. I, I think it's the nicest field I've played on. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was before they did the turf. They didn't have turf. Alrighty. As soon as you take that first one. Oh, good ride. job. <laughs> I'm still working on that double. Meanwhile, Ooh, finish it. Man's almost done with the half finish count. Turn the time, Kai. Where we on? Five minutes and fifteen seconds. That's some good work. It's got to be a good record. Stop talking. Just put, Just put the last bite in the mouth. <laughs> oh, there was the Just last bite. Down. Swallow it. Fifty-three. Well, obviously it was a good camp, fun camp, and exhausting because <laughs> the kid crashed about 10 minutes into the trip, and we got a text from John. Kai was out in probably two minutes. So glad they had fun. Glad they learned something and uh, got to spend some time together playing a little baseball sport that they love. And again, continuing to get better. That's that's part of the keys. You know, if you're going to achieve those goals. You gotta practice, you gotta learn, you gotta be a sponge, absorb as much as you can, and practice. All right guys, that does it for the vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already.
and we'll catch you the next episode. Welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, yeah.